Yeah, so with Nike, you, again, you just don't get like a great, uh, big name in, in the portfolio. You also can do a work you will, can be very proud of and you can show a lot of your own personality in, in these projects. That's how it feels like from an outside perspective. Well, we actually have a, an inside perspective as well. So outside, inside. And that leads me on to my next uh, question, actually, um, because you have had the experience of, of working with Nike. Um, for the viewers out there, I'm sure they've clicked here to get some insights. Um, and I'd also like to know what was the kind of uh, the, the journey? How did they actually find you? And was there any like particular piece of work that um, you feel maybe was the one that they saw and led them to you? How did how did it come about that you got the chance to actually work with them? Yeah, I will unpack the questions okay. by piece. So, so the first thing is like uh, I believe that uh, I have a habit that producing work like from the personal work to for work for client, and I constantly and consistently putting them online and uh, like and I think like this is um, one key that have uh, my work be a little bit more notice noticeable and uh, the first time when I got the email from the creative director from an agency who want to come uh, give me a commission to um, work with Nike I thought that this was a scam email and I have to double check if this is a real email or not and then when, when I found out oh this is the real one and I will have a chance to work at Nike. I did ask them like why they, they, they reached out to me or uh, what kind of uh, work they are interested in and so on. And they just say, oh, we think you might be a good fit. Uh, we saw your work online somewhere. So basically they don't also don't know where they, they found it. So, um, so inside from this one is like consistently producing good work and consistently promoting yourself online. No matter like social media, uh, which channel you use, threads, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and so on. Um, and how does, how did it look like when I work with Nike? So I, the dynamic is like I work with the agency and the agency work with um, Nike. And uh, we did um, talk with the, and collaborate with the in-house team as well to, to have the feedback and have the conversations. Uh, and the one thing I found out that uh, because inside Nike, we have many different communities and uh, the brand have to be very inclusive and every piece of design, you can have fun with it. You can have the artistic expressions in there, but you need to be considered uh, if this type is readable for people who have a uh, problem with, with uh, reading or something. So you have to be really, um, inclusive with what you produce. And I think it's something beautiful to work with a diverse team inside Nike, yeah. Cool, yeah. So you got you found that there was a diverse team to, to work with? They were a very eclectic yeah, group of um, people? In, in the board, I, uh, like in, in the team I did a talk to in Nike, there's people of color and so on. And from the documentation they sent over about the community and so on, I also see that they also care about the different um, people, like from different culture and country and so on. So I did say from the beginning, like they um, put hard working in building communities and promoting inclus inclusive inclusivity. In inclusivity. Inclusivity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but diversity, let's say. Um, not just... Uh, marketing but by doing as well yeah cool um so you're also um here on behalf of uh gen z right so you're speaking for the whole generation <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure if i will be represent for the whole generations but yeah based from my experiences as so is this what i i observe so far so that would be also my question as well because we we took like um, a brief history uh back in time to look at like um, some things that inspired us and, and that we've seen has been benchmarks in our careers. Do you think that it's still as exciting and still as appealing as it once was to work for, for Nike, for, for Gen Z, and um, people have like a similar perspective on the, the creative industry as you have? Yeah. Um, I feel like Nike is the typical 
example of a brand which uh, age like uh, wine, not like milk. You know? Okay, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so age like wine, like um, th the older it gets, like the better um, is master in the recipe of collab with the artists, innovators to um, to get um, what they want to achieve from the beginning um, in aspect of let's say marketing or brand or culture or community building. So, so I think it is something they are really master uh, and excel in, and this is um, leverage um, their positions of uh, because Gen Z nowadays they just not just don't care about um, you know like they really care about society, environment problem, and uh, diversity um, topic as well. So, if the brand only just do the marketing well is not enough, they also have to execute execute, uh, do the executions. So I think, um, yeah, they also did the pretty good executions uh, of what they say. So this is what makes um, their brand still very relevant and desirable with the Gen Z. Guys, I have one thing to ask of you. One small favor. If you are liking this video and you're enjoying the content that we're creating, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Over half of you guys are not subscribed as of yet, and we hope to change that. But the more who subscribe and like the video, we will be able to create better and more content just like this. We appreciate you tuning in. We appreciate the support. So if you could do us that favor, we would highly appreciate it.